in this lesson we do some work on sector graphs, okay, otherwise known as pie graphs. Let's look at an example. At a busy toy shop, 900 widgets were sold during a sale. The sector graph shows the breakup of the colours of widgets that were sold. Okay, and there's our sector graph or pie graph. I wonder why it's called a pie graph. First one, what fraction of widgets sold were red? Well, let's consider, let's look for our red sector. You can see the angle, it's 80 degrees out of a total of, okay, what do you think in a circle? 360 degrees, isn't it? So the fraction is 80 over 360. Now there's our fraction. Always look to break fractions down to simplify or cancel them. Okay, now notice they both end in zeros there. So we can cross off those zeros. Okay, effectively what we've done is divide both top and bottom by 10, but that's a quick way of doing it. Then we've got 8 over 36. Hmm, can we break that down any further? Can you think of a number that divides into both? What about 4? Let's divide top and bottom by 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. 36 divided by 4 is 9. So a fraction there, 2 ninths. Okay, that's in simplest form. This next one then, how many blue widgets were sold? Well, let's look at our blue quadrant there. And I said the word quadrant because it's a quarter of a circle there. Okay, you can tell by that right angle. So one quarter, that's the fraction. The question is how many? So reading through the information, 900 widgets were sold altogether. We're saying a quarter of blue. So let's multiply one quarter times 900. And a quarter of 900? Now how could we do that in our head? Well, to find a quarter of something, you can find a half and then half it again. So what's a half of 900? Well, that would be 450. And a half of 450 is 225. The next one, how many red widgets were sold? Okay, well, back to our red sector there. The fraction, of course, was 80 over the 360. But again, the question is how many? 900 widgets altogether. So this is the fraction we multiply by 900. And because we're dealing with a fraction there that we might need to do some cancelling, let's write that whole number, the 900, over 1. Okay, we've seen that before. Now, in terms of cancelling down, well, the first fraction there, we've cancelled down. The zeros will cancel. The 8 and the 36, okay, 4 goes into both. 4 into 8 goes twice, 4 into 36 goes 9 times. Now the 9 and the 900 highlighted, well 9 will go into both. So 9 goes into 900 100 times. And on the bottom there, 9 into 9 goes once. So what have we got? 2 times 100 is 200. Okay, on the bottom, 1 times 1 is 1, so our denominator is 1. We can ignore it if that's the case. Okay, so 200 red widgets were sold. The next one, what percentage of the widgets sold were green? Okay, there's our green sector. 72 degrees is the angle. We write the fraction first, 72 over 360. It's always over 360. Now, to change it to a percentage, to change a fraction to a percentage, we can multiply by 100. And again, because we're dealing with fractions, we'll probably cancel down. Write that 100. 100 over 1. Now let's cancel down where we can. Notice the 100 and the 360 both end in zeros. So we could knock off a zero in each case. Okay, effectively we've divided each one by 10. Now the 72 and 36. Okay, some of these numbers you'll start recognizing. 36 will go exactly into 72 twice. Okay, so we could divide both by 36. So on the top, 36 into 72 does go twice. And on the bottom, 36 into itself just goes once. So we've got 2 times 10, which is 20, and we're dealing with percent. So 20% is our answer. Now, just a little note before we finish off. If the angles in the sectors are not given, then we need to use a protractor 